Hello, this is Fred Eckert with Chicago Title. I want to give you some important information about um, loved ones you may have or friends you may have that have dementia or are impaired in some fashion or another, have real estate, uh, somebody wants to sell, maybe they want to sell it, and they have a power of attorney. Okay, the question that was asked uh, on Trulia.com not too long ago was this. A woman said, my mother has dementia, mild case of dementia. She gave a power of attorney to her cousin, and the cousin took the mother down and to an escrow and signed papers to sell the mother's 10-unit apartment building. When the daughter asked her questions about that, the mother seemed confused, said, well, I didn't really know what I was signing. I didn't think that was the case. I didn't know about the tax implications. So the daughter is questioning about what she can do. Now, here's the advice I gave online, and a lot of people like this uh, information. And what I said was this. Get some uh, letters from the doctor indicating that she has dementia or is impaired in some fashion. Now, the reverse could also apply. If you were trying to prove that the person was lucid and had their facilities, you could get some statements from the doctors. Let's say that they were not impaired. They understood what they were doing. You could use that same case. But in this case, I said if she has that and you get the doctors to say that she's impaired, uh, get that information to the title and the escrow company. I think that's very important. And also indicate to them that you don't want this closed because uh, this person is impaired and should not have signed these documents. A uh, re reputable title company is not going to, uh, to probably close on that without some resolution to that question. And I think this might be useful to you, so you might be able to do that without hiring an attorney initially, at least, um, to get them to stop the sale so you can have time to address whatever that important issue is. I think this is an important issue to get out to your loved ones and the friends you have who may be either possibly going to get dementia or have dementia currently or uh, know somebody suffering from that. Now, here's the other part of this. If there's a power of attorney involved, most title companies, again, if it's over five years old, will not want to accept that. They want to have the person come in or have some indi something indicating that they understand what they're signing. Uh, but if there's any kind of indication like this where there's a question of some impairment, they probably would not even accept that power of attorney. Uh, again, I can't use five years necessarily as a standard, uh, depending on where it's signed and who signs it and what state you're in and so forth. It may be less than that. Important information, though. Make sure you get all this stuff together. Discuss these things with your uh, in-laws, your spouses, your family, your friends, your parents, whoever you need to, because when it comes down to selling real estate uh, or using that power of attorney, it's going to be very important that that is um, not going to be questioned. If you have questions about me or for me, please give me a call. My information will be at the end of this video. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day.